No, 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 bad bird. What? He took the fish. He took the fish's fish. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we finished our kitchen renovation. Just in time to go down to the Keys. We had to stop at Costco for lunch and we made it to that blue barrier. We got there just in time to have dinner. And Theodore met an iguana. Then we ended up at Robbie's. Let's see what's going on this episode. This video is being uploaded with some Nomad internet. Kevin back here approves. If you need some internet on the go, check in the description below. We have a $30 off code. Let me shut up and we'll get back. We're at Robbie's. This is, place has been around for a very long time. Our first time getting to actually go feed the tarpons and I'm so excited. Come on, let's go take a look. Would, would Molly be freaking out? Yeah. Watch out for the boat. They're so massive. Pelicans? No. Really short. Sarah, go stand right there. What? Oh, right. Wait, oh right. my gosh, it's short, so Sarah. short, don't do these look yummy. All right, so I just yeah, so I just like put my hand. Just like, but they stole the thing right out of my hand. No. No. Go. No. No. Bad bird. What? He took the fish. He took the fish's fish. Jerk. Sure. Good luck with that. Huh? Better get in there quick. Better get him in there. Do they just jump? I don't know. Throw it in there. Supposed to jump out of the water. Ah! Yeah. The bird he did it for you. Oh, those birds are horrible. You want to feed one? No, I'm good. Oh. We got it. <laughs> Look at how massive he is. Holy crap. Pelican. The bird really bit my hand. Did he? Yeah, I know. I want to go feed them over here. There's a lot of pelicans over there. There's one here. Two under there. <laughs> Look at that one, babe. Holy crap, these things are huge. I mean, they sit around here and get fed all day. Yeah, I mean, they kind of know what they're they just, they just chill and live in the island life and getting fed all day. Oh! Look at the fat one over there. Why do they sit here and eat fish all day? There's a... That's like a drag. Huge. Oh, hello, pelican. A little guy there. What are you doing? Washing my hands off. Aside from the pelican that ate my hand, they were just trying to get a bite to eat, I guess. I see a light in your eyes. I follow you so damn foolishly. You'd be the sweetest goodbye. Give me a heart trip exclusively. The 
cute. They had some, they had a really nice walk around area where you could go see plants and trees and the breeze was just beautiful. They even had some cute cats to pet. We did, yeah, we met the cool kitty. The cool kitty and walked around the shop and there's some fun little knickknacks and stuff like that. But for us, I mean, we don't really have the room store anything. So there's not really any point in us buying stuff. It was super cute. Candles smelled wonderful. But uh, I think we're going to continue on down the road. Are you looking at food? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm not even that hungry yet. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, but come on, you're going with us. So we're at the Worldwide Sportsman. How cute are these little fishy things on the ground? Beautiful view. I think this is the best Bass Pro that it has the best views, I would say. All right, let's go inside. sportsman the elevator was awesome super cool to it looked very vintagey i don't know if it's like actually vintagey no. but hemingway's boat was in there yeah that was all that was a good stop i mean we've learned a lot about hemingway a few years back we went to his house in key west and did the tour and all I'm pretty confident that's the boat i don't want to swear to it but i'm pretty sure that's it so that's pretty cool that was his beloved boat he was a huge big game fisherman in key west and that was the pilar I think he named that after one of his wives. Yes, I, want to say. I believe so. That was a cool stop. Definitely check a stop in. It's in uh, the Worldwide Sportsman here in Isla Morada. It's like sitting right in the middle of the store, and you can actually go in it as you've seen. But it was awesome to see what boats looked like back then. Unbelievable and craftsmanship. The so now we're gonna go get some lunch. I think we're gonna get some that lunch. Sounds good. All right, let's go get some lunch. So we are gonna have lunch at Lazy Days Cafe. It was rated really well on Yelp, rely on Yelp a lot to make sure that the restaurant's really good. And if you know anything about Molly, whenever we go into a town, she has Yelp already on her phone checking out the food scene. So let's go see what Lazy Days is all about. Hogfish sandwich encrusted with cheddar cheese. Hogfish is kind of a tropical Florida fish. Really good, it's really white meat, really clean fish. Jim had what? Caesar salad with some scallops on top. They were so good. But the best part about it all was the view. Oh, that view was incredible. I mean, just sitting there was awesome. And we had our key lime pie to top it off, and that was Lazy Days uh, restaurant in Isla Morana. Yeah, it's an open air restaurant. They have an uh, they have an upper level that you can sit inside at, or they have the lower level, which is right on the sand, and you can enjoy the beautiful views and the wind blowing through what's left of my hair. It was awesome. Yeah, it was great. I mean, there's so many good places to eat around here. You could literally eat somewhere new every day for a long time. We're gonna head back, probably rest a little bit. Yeah, I think we're gonna take a nap. We're, be gonna, we're grilling out tonight, so I'm not actually going to be going out tonight. I know, Kyle got us some 
steaks to eat. So he's gonna grill those up and then we'll show you around the park when we get back. So Kyle is still napping and I'm gonna take you down to the sunset with me. This park is actually be freaking awesome and with our thousand trails being thousand trails members we get to stay here for twenty dollars a night it's like costing us what the cost is of one night paying regular for here so that's pretty cool palm trees are gorgeous there's a lot of campers here it's really awesome over here is where they've got the hammocks everybody can hang out they've got cornhole too so it's just such a nice little slice of paradise for real. They also have it to where you can bring your boat and park your boat in here. They've got a boat launch. I think we're just in time for sunset. Well, it looks like the clouds are gonna take this one and there's not gonna be much of a sunset. It was pretty bright when I got here. The sun was shining through the clouds and it was gorgeous. Now, Wah, wah, wah. That's all right though, it is absolutely stunning out here and I will happily just sit and breathe in all the amazing salty sea air. It's pretty cool. There we go, I hit record this time. Yeah, Kyle met me up here, he asked me to go get steak sauce and then I saw him walking this way and he needed a lighter. Luckily, well, I lost my good torch and then I bought one the other day but through all the remodeling I guess it's been misplaced. So grill up some steaks. Yep, they're going to be delicious and we're gonna have a good time just sitting outside enjoying beautiful weather. I'm not gonna wanna leave it, it's so nice. You gonna wanna leave? Probably. Yeah, to see the kids, you know, all that good stuff, parents and all that. Anyway, let's get back to the campsite. What have we got here, good sir? Indian. Potatoes and some broccolini and the piece de resistance, the steak, ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> I don't know. And we're watching Chris's Vacation without children. We love you. We really do. But we're going to put this camera down and chow down on this delicious dinner that Kyle made for us. And maybe pick you back up in a little bit. What you think? Let's go. Michael Joseph Vaughn was last seen on July the 27th, 2021. Joseph is five years old, white male, around three foot seven inches tall approximately 50 hit pounds, blonde hair, blue eyes. He was last seen wearing a light blue Minecraft shirt and dark blue boxer briefs with sandals. If you have any information concerning Michael, please contact the Fruitland Police Department dispatch at 208-642-6006. Let's see if we can try to help bring Michael home.